Now, given everything going on, you may not have noticed that this year is in fact our 60th anniversary. And to mark the occasion, the team have set me a challenge, which is to talk to you about 60 years of funding amazing blood cancer research in just two minutes, which is not easy, but I am up for a challenge, so I'm gonna give it a go. I've got a stopwatch, here we go, start the clock. So we were founded in 1960 by a family called the Eastwoods when their daughter Susan died of leukemia. They started making pocket squares and selling them. By 1961, we had enough money to open the first childhood leukemia research laboratory at Great Ormond Street Hospital. In 1968, we had enough and funded Britain's first ever professorship in leukemia research. In 1975, our scientists at Southampton developed an antibody which can stick to cancer cells that has been the foundation of loads of treatments that are now commonly used in cancer today. In 1990 we developed a minimal residual disease test for children which showed post-treatment how many cancer cells were left. This has transformed treatment and outcomes and is now used across the world. In 1993 we discovered a change that happens in the womb that can cause ALL in children. This could be the bullseye target for future treatments. In 1999 we found what we think is the Achilles heel of, of um, CML, a stem cell which produces a whole stream of cancerous cells. We now want to target that cancer stem cell with new treatments and destroy the CML right at its root. In 2004 we set up the National Childhood Leukemia Cell Bank, giving researchers access to clinical samples that they'd never had before. Everyone in the UK can access that. It has totally transformed how research in childhood leukemia happens. In 2005, we discovered a common mutation in a gene called JAK2 in people with myoproliferative neoplasms, NPMs. There are now tests and treatments that target that discovery, JAK2. In 2011, we set up the Trials Acceleration Programme because we wanted to make sure the people with blood cancer got access to treatments as early as they possibly could. There have been 1,000 people who have benefited from those trials. We have from the 20 trials that have been run through that programme and it is changing how clinical practice happens at this very moment in this country. In 2012 we developed a test for people with myeloma which helped doctors treating patients understand how their disease might develop and those tests are now used all the way across Europe. In 2015 our trial called RAPID showed the benefits to people with Hodgkin lymphoma of having body scans both before treatment and after treatment. This trial changed how treatment is delivered, it's changed clinical practice across the world, it means that fewer people now are given radiation therapy than previously were. In 2018, a trial called Destiny showed that it might be possible to pause treatment for some people with CML, giving them respite and from the side effects that they were uh, experiencing as they went through treatment. In 2019, our trial called Clarity showed that the combination of ibrutinib and venetoclax is highly effective uh, as a treatment and in there are now further trials at this very moment taking place over the last 60 years, we have invested 500 million pounds. That's money that you have raised, thank you very much. In 1960, the survival rate for childhood leukemia was only 10%. That figure is now 80% and it is going up year on year. For people with all types of blood cancer, the survival figure now is over 10 years. That's incredible, stop the clock. Uh, two hours, two hours could have been two hours, there's so much to say. Two minutes, 56, I'm not sure if the team are gonna like that, but the thing to say is more people are surviving as a result of what we're doing. We are better at diagnosing, more people are receiving kinder treatments, there are fewer side effects than there were, but there is still so much more to be done because we are absolutely determined that we are gonna beat blood cancer and we don't need another 60 years. If we all pull together, we can do this in a generation. Thank you for everything that you've done so far and I look forward to getting to work on the next bit of the job that we need to do. Thank you, and I hope the team aren't too cross about the time.